performance. Lady Nancy Reagan admittedly lived things up after the performance. She apparently nudged her chair too close to the edge of the stage while smoothing her skirt and fell over. Mrs. Reagan assured everyone she was not hurt. The incident occurred as President Reagan was delivering some remarks about Horowitz. He told Mrs. Reagan she was only supposed to do that if he didn't receive any applause. Vladimir Horowitz, the renowned Russian-born pianist, thrilled an audience at the White House yesterday. As the president thanked him, First Lady Nancy Reagan toppled off a small stage. She lost an earring and was slightly shaken, but she was able to joke, I guess I livened things up. The president treated her like a trooper. Honey, I told you to do it only if I didn't get any applause in. <laughs> The mood grew more serious when During President Reagan decades. turned to next weekend's mini-summit in Iceland. And in preparing for this meeting, I have found words of Mr. Horowitz is coming to mind. I am not a communist, he said, but I was brought up to seek the good. I hope that by playing in the Soviet Union, I will make the good better. Well, just so in going to Iceland, it's my fervent hope that we'll be able to strengthen the good in this world, peace and freedom that all of us here so deeply cherish. Horowitz played for a distinguished gathering. He'd recently scored a resounding success in a tour of the Soviet Union, the place where he was born. During the chaos of civil war in Russia, performing again and again for no greater payment than flour or chocolates, in his own words, I felt the atmosphere in Russia, I identified with them and tried to put it all into my playing. The president was thanking Horowitz. First Lady Nancy Reagan tumbled off the small stage where she was sitting. She was not hurt, and the president treated the accident as just part of the act. Honey, I told you to do it only if I didn't get any applause in. <laughs> and it, I guess I liven things up. Small stage as the president began a tribute to pianist. As Horowitz held the first lady tightly, the president had the last word. Honey, I told you to do it only if I didn't get any applause in. <laughs> Vladimir Horowitz played the White House, commanding the rapt attention of Washington's elite. The 82-year-old master earned several standing ovations, and the president expressed hope that his summit with Soviet leader Gorbachev will be as successful as Horowitz's recent triumphant appearances in Moscow. Thank you.